Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. In this uh, video, I like to solve you this example three two point two to guide you how to solve this uh, example. This problem. So in this problem, the velocity potential for the flow is given by psi equal to a over two. Sorry, the phi equal to a over two x squared minus y squared, where the a is a constant and clearly stated here and the question asks you to determine which is the a is constant and then they ask you to determine the corresponding stream function and also sketch the flow all right before we start we should recall that call back the, the formulas on the equations that given given to us we have two equation in order to solve this problem we can use either one one question is we have u equal to b phi del x equal to del psi del y this is one equation that we can use Another equation we can use is a V equal to del V del Y equal to minus del psi del X. I put this as a equation number two. We can use either one. Okay, let's restart with uh, using the first question. Right. in order to choose the first equations so now we're going to differentiate these equations with respect to the x so what we get is actually v v dx equal to so if you differentiate this one we, we got this a x plus b we got the a x then we know that this c decide dy is also equal to d so this one equal to B sign B. All right. Now, in order to determine the the stream functions, we need to integrate this equation. So what we do now, we integrate this one. Integrate this. So you do this integrations. B sign which is this integration with respect to the y so a x dy so we also integrate this one so the answer after the integration so what we have this is a sign equal to a x y plus b constant all right this is uh, one way to determine the value of stream function. So we have another equation that we need we can use also. This equation. The answer should be similar because this the way to determine is a similar. So now in this case now we can also use the same equation and then now we integrate this one with uh, my we integrate this, uh, we differentiate this uh, phi with respect to the dy. So what we call it here is uh, d psi dy. This is what we have is uh, minus a y. All right, is a minus a y. So now based on these equations, this is also equal to the minus d sine 
the x. All right. Now, we can integrate these equations. We integrate the entire equation, this entire equation. So, let's say I, I integrate this one. So, integrate this. So, what I got it here. So, I integrate this one. D sine right? so equal to the equations of a y d x so from this integration again this is the answer that we we got which is the a x y plus c Okay, if we compare these two equations uh, on similar, which is the both have a constant one, constant two, and then this we can call it as constant. So the general equation, so that the stream functions equation for this. Uh, for this uh, equation, for the given equation is the sine equal to a x y plus c. All right. So now, from this equation, we already know that this uh, c, this c is a arbitrary. arbitrary constant okay let's we say that the let's c equal to zero in this case so we have the sine equal to a x y all right now we're going to sketch this uh, string functions as I shown in the previous example, so we have the x and y exists, y x exists here, this is the y axis here. So now we substitute the boundary conditions here. Let's say we, we, we say that the x equal to zero. So x equal to zero, therefore we got psi also equal to zero it means that along this line the y axis line this is the sine equal to zero and then we have another one is the x y equal to zero so now for y equal to zero similar with x then if we substitute here zero and then we got this equation psi again equal to zero this means that along the x axis the value for string function psi also equal to zero so you have the this Two string functions then you can plot the other string functions so what you're going to get if you substitute the values for this then you will get this string functions hopefully you can try substitute any values to represent x and y or you can put a sign and then you determine the value for x and y so this is what going uh, this is the result or the sketch that you're going to to get All right. so what we call this as a this curve as a rectangular hyperbola All right with that thank you very much see you